Kurobio, greetings to all on this uh, Azan uh, Nawankuvo. Nawankuvo is the, um, it encompasses the uh, whole aspect of Africans uh, from uh, commemorating the fall or internal rot. Uh, the thing that led us, you know, made us vulnerable to captivity and led us to captivity, or uh, so-called slavery. Um, the, the act of captivity, Europeans, Arabs coming and um, purchasing, a lot of people don't want to acknowledge that, purchasing Africans from other Africans that had raided African villages and monarchies uh, for their gain. A gain of third rate, um, third rate rum, <laughs> third rate, not second rate, third rate rum. Uh, ironically, and rum was just one of the things. Ironically, that same rum that came to them, that the that these chiefs, kings, and uh, these these people that were actively selling African people for. Uh, <laughs> That rum came from the cane fields of Louisiana, of Brazil, of Haiti. So the same captives were forced to work these fields to that would uh, that was the rum was made from. Then the the, the side stuff we for, forgot what it's called, but the side stuff was used to make the third rate rum. Right? You see why we call it third rate? to send to to trade African for African bodies to these sellout Negro house nigga kings that were in uh, kings and queens and it was women involved too uh, chiefs uh, people that were not royals were involved it's, it's a fact but we also want to commemorate uh, uh, this is kind of remnant of uh, it's kind of on the piggybacking on something someone uh, suggested to us earlier about commemorating particular people you know and learning about their stories because we suggested that people go to uh, slavevoyages.org to check out um, uh, the receipts if you will you know the, the various documented uh, numbers uh, and the, what the, the items and all of that that were uh, people were traded for and all that you know it's pretty uh, pretty thorough website um, so it was suggested by our chief uh, our right hand chief that we start learning about particular ancestors and their stories so we are, we'll share real quick we and we want to real quick we want to commemorate our ancestor on our phone side Sakbaju uh, who was forced into captivity in 1823. Uh, we want to uh, commemorate our ancestor on our Congo side, um, uh, who was Bajaga. Uh, he was from the Bavili Congo people. So we know their stories. Uh, we learned a lot through Ifi divination about them. Uh, my root side is Sakba uh, Sakbaju. He was and we say phone, but he was actually uh, set up from the monarchy of Hevye. He was put into captivity in 1823 uh, because people that were wanting to keep the uh, captivity trade alive did not want anybody from our family on the throne. So they dismantled the, the lineage by killing his father and selling Sakbaju into captivity. Fortunately, after several months of tribulation, uh, being put on a palm oil plantation in, yeah, plantation in Africa, ran by Africans. No, this was not but ran by Europeans. This was a palm oil plantation ran by Africans. He was there for two to three months and then sold into captivity to the cracker. But fortunately, he escaped and became what we call a maroon.
uh, in our language, Maroon is uh, Kilombo Mutu. Uh, Kilombo Numutu, or Kilombo Mutu. Uh, the Kilombo is the place where people saw uh, that they created and also sought refuge uh, to become free of not only European captivity, but free of niggas. And <laughs> some, might, some people might not like us using that term. There's a difference between niggas and black folks. There's a difference between black folks and, and Africans. Uh, we like black folks. They can be difficult sometimes. But niggas are a problem. So the niggas wanted to stay in the captivity. Those were the slaves. So they wanted to free themselves of those that were content with their condition. And they created the Quilombo. They call them, uh, in other parts of South America, Palenques. Um, so, and we use the term maroon. So it's a Portuguese, uh, is it a Portuguese term? Spanish term. Uh, it's basically someone who does not accept the norm, which, which is actually degeneracy in this case, and they separate themselves, so-called run away, and they create a new society. Uh, we call that society the Quilombo, and that's what our monarchy is. So we want to commemorate our ancestor Sakbaju um, for him getting to Mobile, Alabama in 1823, and escaping and never becoming uh, a captive. He never was a captive. He went up to the Tom Bigby River and joined the Maroon Society that was already there. Um, so, the point is, is that we're encouraging other people to research their real history. Uh, DNA tests can't do it for you, unfortunately. Uh, you have to get to, to find out this kind of thing from a roots reading, an e fa roots reading. It's called Ipile or Ipilese Fa. Uh, those are the only, that's the only way new African people, Africans that are born of the di so called diaspora, that's the only way that they're going to learn their intricate history. Other than that, you take these DNA tests, they're telling you you're Yoruba, you Igbo. What does that do though? It's just like when you know, just simply calling yourself African, because you still don't know the 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 uh, clan you come from or the family you come from. So with the Nawan Kuva commemoration, we have to take all of that into consideration. If, uh, all of that, uh, those type of intricacies that we don't know, that we overlook, or we um, we sometimes push to the back. Because we feel it's, it's no hope, it's no use. There is hope, there is use. Our site is ganlodokingdom.com. Well, that's our monarchy, G-A-N-L-O-D-O, kingdom.com. Our publications are at um, uh, restorationhealing.com. The name of that site is Kilumbo Restoration and Healing. And our uh, contact is ikaabokilumbo at gmail.com. That is E-K-A-A-B-O. K I L O M B O at gmail.com. A Kabo Kilombo.com. Odiba.